This lesson discusses the basic types of reactions that are most commonly found in aqueous solutions. Because water is abundant and it is a good solvent for a large number of compounds, many reactions in chemistry take place in water. An aqueous solution is one which has water as a solvent. Many different kinds of compounds, both ionic and covalent, dissolve in water. When an ionic compound dissolves, the positive and negative ions separate from each other. They are said to be solvated by the water molecules. The water molecules partially compensate for the unfavorable energy lost when positive ions are forced to separate from the negative ions. The solvated ions are mobile and they can move around the solution freely, so the ions may be considered to be individual chemical species. A solution of a soluble ionic compound is sometimes called an electrolyte solution because the mobile ions can carry a current. Of course, not all ionic compounds are soluble. The solubility rules give a rough guide for predicting whether an ionic compound is soluble. Many covalent compounds also dissolve in water, especially polar ones. For example, sugar is a carbohydrate that has many polar groups and is soluble in water. An aqueous solution of a non-ionic compound usually produces a non-electrolyte solution, except in cases where a covalent molecule reacts with water to form ions. Many acid solutions are formed this way. For example, hydrogen chloride, HCl, is a covalent compound and originally a gas, but when dissolved in water, HCl produces a strong electrolyte solution because the HCl molecule gives off an H plus ion to water, leaving behind a chloride ion. Several types of reactions are common in solutions. First, there are acid-base reactions. In the most common definition of acids and bases, an acid-base reaction occurs when two compounds exchange H plus ions or protons. The reactant that donates protons is the acid. The reactant that accepts protons is a base. In this example, HM is the acid, B is a base. After the transfer, HM becomes M minus and B becomes BH plus. The second type of reaction is oxidation reduction or redox reactions. In the redox reaction, electrons are transferred. In this example, magnesium donates electrons and becomes Mg2+. Copper 2 plus accepts electrons and becomes copper. In a redox reaction, the electron donor is called the reducing agent, and the electron acceptor is called the oxidizing agent. Finally, in the third type of reaction, ions are exchanged. A precipitation reaction is one example of this. In this example, two soluble ionic compounds exchange ions and form a solid that separates out of the solution while the other product remains soluble.